cloudy right now, minus three in Prince George, and a warm up to about five degrees above with that rain arriving sometime during the afternoon. And again, for the Kamloops district, it's mostly afternoon. Now I want to sing, I want to dance, I want to do it all. Today, I'm in a place called Squamish and I am hiking up a mountain uh, with some friends and it is going to be so exciting but from today today what I want to actually bring to the channel is how I actually take my Instagram photos from the beginning kind of show you guys what I get up to so as you can see it's <laughs> it's cold it's really cold in terms of snow today I don't know how much we're gonna get there is some up there up the very top but um we shall see when we get up there it's kind of a mixture of both appreciate how Canadian this is we got like the Starbucks log cabin feel then we got like a and w but look at the background to a and w you got like clouds literally hovering above it and then that's this is called the squamish station and we just ate in a place called white spot there so it's awesome Putting the back into the car, trying to run away. <laughs> ah dave hey fella has he been fed he doesn't even like the potatoes ah it's too pot <laughs> So um, yeah, we've basically got to fill up the car now. This is the car, we've got like a seven seater and there is there's six of us today, so it's perfectly snug. Um, and then the Chief is literally just a couple of minutes drive away from here. So let's go, let's show you Instagram people. No, let's show you YouTube people how I take my photos. This is the beginning point of the trip. We start at the bottom of Squamish. Wow, oh, look how fresh that is from the bidding. Like, apparently it's amazing when you get up there, but like right now I'm pretty satisfied with being down here. Uh, the only thing is it is cold. I've got my hat on, not my glasses. I'm probably gonna need gloves, but uh, yeah, we're good to go. It's slippy. It's like hella slippy around here too. So apparently you can take a gondola, which costs $80 just to go up, or you can take the gondola back down for free if you do hike up. So that's probably a good example of how tough this is. Shauna's doing an ice dance. So as we enter the kind of forest, this is kind of the type of shots I try to avoid, whereas there's no actual light coming through like it kind of looks amazing in person but i find the cap the camera never captures that kind of thing so as you can see it's like literally all sheltered in and although that looks good on video up close i just avoid it i try to get places that have actual just natural light beaming into the shot so um yeah we'll keep walking for another while and probably find something a bit more open You can see the sunlight, which means we're nearly free. Very excited, we're about to break into some sunlight. You can see it, it's flickering on my face. Oh yeah, and that is always my perfect photo opportunity now, is when the sunlight comes through the trees. Some flares coming in here of the light. That always looks really good on Instagram. So me and Brian are both rocking Apple Watches and uh, it's a, literally a direct competition between us two. They basically communicate to each other and like <laughs> Brian does a workout and notifies me and vice versa. So uh, we're both like in direct competition today. <laughs> <laughs> it's gas what technology does for you. <laughs> Come to the point of a full on ladder, it's getting that steep. God. Ah, yeah, so. <laughs> That's how steep it gets. <laughs> so this is a prime example of a photo opportunity. We made it to the peak. Oh yeah, it's so annoying. Like, so annoying to something like you're walking. 
ਇੱਕ ਦੇ ਸੀ good one <laughs> Part of my back it better be a good one <laughs> so i guess the main thing i'm looking for when i'm up here to take photos or the main way i get photos in general is by actually just doing things um, that's why when i don't do things or i don't get up too much during the week i get real antsy because then obviously like i've no photos to take so basically i just go on hikes um, and do kind of random bits that provide me with those photos you know? get yourself to places that like you know obviously from make it so easy to provide the photos like i always have literally probably about 50 photos to choose from when i get home after i kind of scrap out a few but uh, 50 solid photos and i'm um, pretty set for another couple of weeks. I feel having finished the Chana and returning back down. Do you feel like you've achieved your life and you've found yeah, yourself? like I oh. Go on. Like, I enjoy these hikes. I think they're really nice. But what I don't like is the pace that the lads go at. It's too fast. Like, it's not fair, is it? It annoys me and I get cranky, but I actually really enjoy them. So if everyone just Slow down. took a chill pill, and slow down a little bit. And go at the pace of your little legs. Yeah. Fair. Evan has big long legs like. That's probably why we're about six miles behind the group. The thing about Canada is that you spend a lot of time working and like that's cool and all like but you can perfectly balance it with time having freedom and just like doing whatever you need. So <clears throat> full time jobs and stuff isn't really much of an excuse not to kind of have a lot of fun. And I, I was kind of naive to that at the start, that uh, I thought if I worked 40 hours over here, I'd be doing nothing, but uh, I'm actually doing a lot. Um, it's not ideal, but you know, you work from, you do definitely have to work on it from um, over time, like, you know, but you gotta, you gotta work hard. And plus, you know, kind of look at the positive side. I mean, this incredible country, just for giving some of my time per week. And then mainly the weekends we do what we love. We did it! And at last we completed Squamish. It is called Squamish, isn't it? The, the Chief on Squamish. Yeah, the Chief in Squamish. Um, so yeah, that was part one of this video. And then part two, which will be following along shortly, will be kind of getting back and sitting down to the studio and editing up these photos. So thank you for watching. I will have the next video up real soon, so just stay tuned for that or if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit subscribe turn on the notifications and go from there thanks for watching shauna anything to say after this point food food glorious food so that's it you've heard it from shauna first food time <laughs>